Alright guys, so we're moving on to the next probiotic. This is what is known as what? The Bacillus coagulans. Bacillus coagulans. So we'll talk about the pharmacology of this Bacillus coagulans. Yes, we say that it's actually what? A probiotic bacteria. And it's actually part of the normal flora of the human intestine. Alright? So what is the mechanism? It just maintains what? A healthy balance of the gut microbiota so it competes with harmful bacteria for nutrient and space you understand so to produce lactic acid and other substances that inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria okay so it enhances the gut function and modulates what the immune system so it is normally a part of your gastrointestinal system but in conditions where the good bacteria their levels are going down this is where you now have a supplement of it. So you take it to replenish the lost one. All right. So indication, uh, this Bacillus coagulans is used to treat and prevent various conditions, including what uh, diarrhea that is caused by what antibiotics, travelers diarrhea, viral diarrhea, children, okay? Maybe digestive disorders like irritable bowel disease, inflammatory bowel disease, colitis. Immune support, it's to boost your immune system to help prevent respiratory tract infections and other infections too. In general, gut health is used for that too. So pharmacokinetics, as a probiotic, this bacillus coagulans is not absorbed, but it actually colonizes the gut. If you take it, it will go and stay there. All right? Distribution, it colonizes the gut and the lower intestine, intestine only. Metabolism. It metabolizes carbohydrate to produce lactic acid, which is what provides energy to colonocytes and has what anti-inflammatory effect. Excretion, not applicable as it's an organism that will now live in the gut. So side effects sometimes when you take it as a supplement can cause gas and blotting, especially in the first time taking it, right? But sometimes some people are allergic to it, but it's rare, okay? So contraindication, if somebody is already hypersensitive to it, you shouldn't give it. Or you should use caution in people that have a very weak immune system. Because you need at least a strong immune system to now recognize this guy as, oh, this is a good guy for the body. You understand? So at least. Okay, so that's it for what? Bacillus coagulans.